Good morning and welcome to uh, Wednesday's edition's Midweek Manna. Uh, I am Reverend Wanda Floyd. I serve as the uh, campus pastor for our digital campus through St. John's MCC. If you have not uh, joined our Facebook page, please feel free to um, go to our page and um, be invited. You know what? Never mind. My bad. If you're watching this, you're already a part of the group. Sorry about that. Um, and also apologize for not being online last Wednesday. It was a very hectic day. And so I want to start talking about and sharing about the book of James. And James to me is one of my favorite books in the Bible because it's very practical and it also talks about um, how to live as a Christ follower. So today I want to talk about that um, this morning as well as this evening and for the rest of the month. So this morning I want to talk about the fact that, you know, as we uh, continue to uh, walk as followers of Christ, there are times in which we will have challenges and hardships and situations like that. And, you know, when we think about it, we sometimes wonder where is God and what are we to do during those times? When James talks about in chapter 1 verse 1 through 12 about uh, finding joy in hardship and that uh, we get patience and we will survive and we will make it through those moments um, when we have hardships in our life and so I wanted to to read um, a little bit of that to you uh, this morning if that's okay um, with you so let me let me find out I apologize for not having it ready um, already and it is finding joy and the scripture that goes along with that is James chapter 1 and James was the uh, half-brother of Jesus just so you know and he says my brothers and sisters whenever you face trials of any kind consider it nothing but joy because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance and let endurance have its full effect so that you may be mature and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you is lacking in wisdom, ask God, who gives to all generously, and it will be given to you. But ask in faith, never doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For the doubter, being double-minded and unstable in every way, must not expect to receive anything from God. And it goes on to talk more about, um, you know, how to have faith. But the biggest thing I wanted you to know is that we are to find joy in our hardships. And that's so hard. Um, I like the song by uh, Marvin Sapp called Praise Him Anyway. Praise Him in advance. Um, there's another one by Casting Crown says Praise Him in the Storm. Praise You in the Storm. And so it's important for us to realize that even though we may be having struggles, uh, hard situations, not knowing where to go, what to do, God is still there in the midst of those hard situations. We don't feel like it because when we're in those places, we feel like we're all alone. But the reality is that we're not. God is right there with us, working it out for our good, as we've talked about uh, before in one of our earlier midweek manners. And so today, I challenge you to think about what are ways in which you can find joy in the midst of your hardship? What are ways that you can see the endurance that you have? Because when you come out on the other side, you've endured. You've had strength that you've been able to produce that you thought you never had. And that's the wonderful piece about it. So think about it. Take it in. Realize that even in the midst of what you're going through, there's still a place of joy because God is with you throughout it all. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for listening. I pray that this word blesses you whenever you listen to it and, for, and wherever you are. Take care and I'll see you later on tonight. Bye-bye.